Oh, all right. Another win for the Toronto Maple Leafs. On my way to work, and we get to chat about Toronto winning 5-2 against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, John Tavares getting his 400th. Jordy Ben, he better. I don't even know if he gave the belt to someone else. He probably gave it to Matt Murray because Matt Murray wins in his return to Pittsburgh as a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Gets the W, 5-2 win. Uh, but Jordy Ben. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he retained that belt from previous game. Uh, he saved a goal or three. He almost scored a beautiful uh, two-on-one backhand between uh, between the legs. Not him going between the legs. Him going between uh, the legs of the Pittsburgh netminder. Was it Jari net or just Smith? I can't even remember, to be fair. Um, Michael Bunting. Finally gets on the scoreboard again. He's been playing well. It just hasn't been going in for him. He scores. Austin Matthews uh, gets a couple uh, apples there. I think two assists. Mitch Marner gets an amazing goal after an amazing passing play by John Tavares and Morgan Riley. Finishes it off. It was great. There was a few like bumps in the road there for the Leafs. Uh, Sandine had a whiff of a turnover that you would normally see in Sunday morning hockey or my Monday night hockey league. I'm sure I have done that at least, I don't know, five to 12 times a game. But uh, he's a professional. You don't expect it there. And who does he turn it over to? Sidney Crosby, who has a wicked freaking backhand. A uh, few turnovers here and there, but I think the Leafs played great, um, in my opinion. Uh, they were all over Pittsburgh at times, hemming them into the zone. There was extended uh, time and shifts in the Pittsburgh end. Uh, could have been a lot more, but it could have been a lot worse. Uh, Dennis Malgan had that high stick which was a high stick because he hit the puck above his shoulders um, but not a high stick penalty because it was the puck that hit Latang in the face not his stick that was a bit of a piss off and it's really weird on the broadcast they were saying that if it was if there was blood and it was four minutes they could have uh, reviewed it and then they would have called off the penalty probably but because it wasn't it wasn't reviewable it's so weird like you can see in the stadium like or yeah, the rink whatever um and on the broadcast that you watch the replay and you can clearly see it was the puck but the refs can't do anything about it that kind of sucks now do i understand why the ref thought it was a penalty yes the stick swung in that direction he was behind uh letang okay i get it but god what a terrible call and the pittsburgh penguins could have like tied it up surely and then it would have been a momentum swing because at one point it was momentum swing. Uh, Toronto gets on the board first. John Tavares with his 400th goal. Uh, what an absolute shot. Um, high up in the zone. That was great after a great shift. Uh, then what was it, like two minutes after that? Uh, Mitch Marner scores after that beautiful pass play. Tavares on the blue line. Feeds it over to uh, Morgan Riley. And I think it's Gensel who has Marner and goes, oh shoot, I should take Riley. He might shoot. And then Riley feathers it over to Marner. Marner doesn't go for like the quick tip or the one-timer. He corrals the puck, goes around. Goal. Lovely. And the shots were even or whatever. Or maybe leaves up by one going into the first intermission. And then at the beginning of the second period, it's right away off the draw. Austin Matthews somehow gets a two-on-one with Bunting. Just an easy saucer pass for him. Tang dives out. Goal. The Tang did that twice, I think, tonight. Diving out and the Leafs just saucing it over him. Ben had the other chance where he gets stopped. Uh, but Bunting scores in literally the Yonic cage. It was wide open net. Makes it 3 0. I'm like, this is freaking great. All we need is something bad to. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and uh, Pittsburgh goes the other way, literally right away. Um, gets some good zone time. Shot from the point, which we saw the Leafs struggling in the first period against Vancouver. Seen him struggle a lot, like covering those points and just letting pucks get through. So many times, you know, they just miss the net. You're like, that could have been a goal. That could have been a goal. That could have been a goal. This time, it, like, nicks. like kisses off a of Raquel. Murray can't react in time. Uh, it was a good goal, in my opinion. Uh, then right after that, Sandine whiffs on one. It's, like, seconds after that. And Crosby backhand scores. Beautiful backhand. And it was 3-2. And I'm like, oh, F me. This sucks. Um, speaking of Mac Murray, though, before we carry on in the game, uh, I thought he played stellar. I thought he played stellar. Uh, he was solid. He was big in the net. A few times the puck squeaked through him. There was one shift I think it squeaked through him two or three times. But he was there and he at least slowed the puck down because any other time 
those those shots go in. But he's there. He was quite poised in the net. Um, I, w I was really, really happy for him, uh, especially coming back from injury, getting that win. Uh, he had a great play in the third period where um, it was a shot on net, but all the pits were playing when some players were deep, and he just uh, blocked it out setting up his own little breakout that was really cool i really liked matt murray's game today and if the puck did get by him other than those two times the least defenseman and forwards jordy ben was there to just clear it off so uh, i think steve dangle um tweeted like jordy ben the best ben so far yeah looking like it he was almost a uh, goal per game um and he saved a couple goals as well he was he was brilliant uh anyway matt murray i think played really really well tonight um so the Leafs are up 3-2, and it's a bit of a panic on my end anyway. And then uh, Holmberg throws one on net after, again, an extended shift, just a dominant shift. Backhands it on, Bunting's there, pops it in. Goal 4-2 in the third period, Nylander ices it. 5-2 uh, win. Murray was solid. Defensively, they were solid. Offensively, they were solid. I, I'm just really impressed with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He played great. Uh, I love it. Um, now, speaking of Jordy Ben, obviously he's in there because Muzzin's out till he's February uh, or March time. Probably done for the season. Maybe come back from the playoffs. But do you need them? I don't know. Uh, Jordy Ben comes in there with Brody out with an oblique injury, and I think he's been a great little addition. Um, I don't know how if he can keep this up, but he's more of the lines of like. F it. That's his, like mindset, I think. He's like, oh, I can join this rush. I'm going to. F it. Does. And if something happens, I'm just going to bully people off the puck. And if anything, if they beat me, well, they're going to they're gonna pay for doing it. And I love the aggression. He is nasty. And I think that's what the Leafs need on the back end. It's like, you don't have Muzzin back there now. And if you look at it, like, yeah, Sandine has lots of hits, and Lilligren has lots of hits, and all that. But you have, like, a snarly, like, man. He's a man beast, and I I think it's been he's been a good addition. Now, he's only played two games. Obviously, I saw the one in Vancouver Live. Watching last night, I just like how he's just aggressive. Not aggressive as in, like, at a position. Well, sometimes, but, like, uh, he just... Make sure guys know he's there. His presence is known. And I think that's something the Leafs needed. No, they don't need a Ilya Labushkin. They just needed a presence like that. Um, and I don't think he would have got that uh, with Crawl or Hollowell or whoever um, the Leafs could have put up. I think Ben is the temporary answer. And, and let him let him go. See what, see what happens. Also, these lines... I think uh, TSN during the first intermission, which I'm sorry, like I like O'Neill and stuff, but God, uh, the intermissions are boring. Even though Sportsnet and Hawkeye, yeah, they're all kind of boring now. But uh, they brought up uh, Ken John Tavares reached 40 goals with Mitch Marner on his on his wing. A bunch of them said no. I'm like, yes, of course he can, because he's been on a tear, and Mitch Marner will find him the puck and look at him score right there. He's gonna get looks. He's gonna get opportunities, uh, and then. Willie and Matthews and Bunting, wherever you put together, they're gonna they're gonna put up points. Um, do you know who's not putting up points? Alex Kerfoot. There's a big reason why, and you can see he's guessing himself, and he's looking to pass over anything. He's got speed. He's got some handles. He finds space for himself. I think it was in the third period. They're up four two, and he's going in. He makes a great move, and it's a two on one. But Tavares peels off, and the defenseman takes Tavares and Kerfoot still tries a stupid backhand when he literally could have shot he could have went in and deked that was frustrating I he, he needs he needs a goal Kerfoot needs a goal to build up that confidence um get like the monkey off the back thing it's worked for bunting tonight maybe Kerfoot's coming up uh other than that I think the Leafs played really really well and I think they're eight five and three now nine five and three I don't know they're 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 pushing ahead um, it's good to see. This is what the team, this is the team we expected. Uh, even with guys injured, this is the team we expected. Um, 
And again, it was great to see Matt Murray come in, make some of those saves, big time saves, uh, and get the win. Uh, with him, Samsonov, I think that's a good little combo there. It will be, it will be. Split games, or even if Samsonov takes number one back, uh, Murray's a solid backup. Expensive, but a solid backup. Um, ah, I love the Leafs, and I love winning. All right, uh, comment down below your thoughts on the game. That's it for me. See you for the next one. Go Leafs, go.